My name is Martin Pettigrew. I'm the owner and CEO of Monarch Roofing, Monarch Solar in Myrtle Beach, Wilmington, and Hilton and Island. I'm from the French part of Canada in Quebec. My hometown is actually named Rimouski. I came to the United States when I was 18 years old. A passion of mine to play golf on the NCAA Division I, but I didn't know English, so I had to learn English. The only way to do it was to become an exchange student. I did that, and then I was able to play golf in college, accomplish my, my dream. I played golf at St. Francis University Division I. I uh, played golf there for four years, graduated, and moved down to Myrtle Beach uh, to follow a career in construction. Really was in golf, but it didn't really work out very well. And then they started uh, the roofing company. I started working at night. I was parking cars at night as a valet. I worked uh, two, three, four nights a week. It was, uh, it was great, great money, it was awesome. But I learned something very, very important there is whenever I was parking cars, I started uh, meeting people that had really nice trucks, they had nice, they had Hummers, they had uh, F-350s. And I was really curious to find out what they were doing because they were about my age and they were living the dream. They were like rock stars to me. Uh, and they were all contractors. Sales guys drive a four door. Most of them is F-150s. We got a little bit of uh, Chevrolets, but they're all four doors. Uh, then the box truck, that's for marketing division. We have a couple box truck for repair crews for all the tools. The vans is hard, unless you have a high top, it's hard to fit them all inside of it. Mm -hmm. But we have over a hundred trucks um, and they all wrap monarch roofing. That's probably, uh, we talk about branding. It's probably the best way to brand because when we get to meet somebody, they seem to have seen us before, so. It's metal covered. There's a there's a filler in between. You're right. There's a bit filler in between, but there's metal on both sides. But what I could not understand is, if you're a contractor, I don't know too much about construction at that point. I was 26. I uh, just graduated college, and then those contractors, I know you have to get up in the morning, sun sunrise to sunset, and they were the clock for three, four in the morning. It didn't make any sense that they could make a good contractor. So when I started asking questions to them, they were not doing what was right for the homeowner. They said, I don't care if I do a bad job tomorrow, if I am late or if I'm on time, it doesn't matter because there's so much work out there, I'll find something else. That was 2007, right before the economy crashed. And every single one of them went out of business. I started losing them, losing them, seeing them. And to me, it was uh, infuriating because I was working so hard, working two jobs to barely make it, and they had it so easy. I started doing construction and over the years, this phrase became our motto. It was to take the con out of contractor. It makes so much sense to bring professionalism into our industry. Uh, and that's what I'm passionate about. I'm obsessed with our customer. I want to do what's right. And the entire team at Monarch is just focused on this. What we got to do to serve better our communities, our homeowners, by doing what is, is right and giving the customer what they deserve the best. But if you don't keep up with homeowner, now they're starting to official because somebody else is gonna knock on the door. I'll give you a free estimate. So if we don't keep close with them, then they're gonna go somewhere else. So if we can control this from the inside, it's a lot easier to send a text message or email from the inside. Then the outside salesman can just go appointment to an appointment to an appointment, can go to eight, nine, 10 appointment, not you, like you have some follow-up, some more inspection or presentation, but instead of going three appointments a day, you can go to 10 appointments a day. Who's gonna win? the one that does 10 appointments, right? So as any roofing or construction company was really hard. I think every business can relate to this, but it was really hard times. Um, we could not really find any job because recession just hit. So I think it came to me still to this day that I'm really humble and really hard working uh, through all my action. But the first job we ever got, I was really, really proud of. It was a $33,000 metal roof. And I was really excited about it. I felt like I made it. But the problem is the job cost us, or cost, at $38,000. So we lost $5,000, not including my time. But even though it was very negative, there's a great failure there because I learned how to price metal roof. When we started uh, the, the custom uh, metal shop and started doing uh, all the metal, basically, um, you know, seeing a need um, within the business that you know we really weren't getting um, service. Uh, you know the, the way that we wanted from um, from other from the, the the people that we're using before, and 
figured that, uh, hey, if uh, Rooster Wing concept that we have uh, works, uh, that we could definitely put that same um, uh, scenario together for um, a metal business and do it better. You know, uh, nothing against anybody else that, uh, that we've used or anything, but uh, we, we just figured we could do it better than everyone else. Yeah, that was very helpful to learn about the roofing industry and from that point on we're able to be successful in metal jobs and we learn so many things by failure by embracing failure we embrace the struggle as long as we are uh, as you are alert and to learn and to put in place what you learn um, i think failures we get embraced and don't be afraid of failure You got to be in it though it's easy to delegate people talk about delegation all the time it makes i don't really understand delegation you gotta have people to do other things but you need to understand it you can say that's your job and you know you have to be close to understand the process you have to do it the best way to teach somebody else you have to do it yourself then i can do it with you then you do it while i'm watching you then you can do it on your own you can teach somebody else we're gonna go over all the contract parts. We have about five or six pieces of paper to make sure that the job is buttoned up from the sales point of view all the way to production. Because what we like to do is when the sales guy is done with his job, we wanna make sure we pass it on to production so we don't have to kind of go back to the salesperson because what we wanna focus on is the sales is the number one goal for them is customer acquisition. I think the last year, the level of people we're hiring and through the university, it makes a big difference. We have three locations, Wilmington, North Carolina, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and Hilton Head Island. All three locations are very unique, but everybody wants the same thing. They all want to get serviced. Uh, it's very important to us that we focus all our effort to do what's right for homeowner. We're obsessed with our customers. So even though there's a little bit different market, uh, I can say that it's a very touristic second homes market in Hilton Head. Myrtle Beach, very similar. Hil Wilmington is a lot more homeowners. Uh, but we focus really on giving back to the communities. We donate roofs for veterans, we're very passionate about veterans. Um, and I feel like the same concept is, I, I think, on those two locations anyways, to always want to do what's right for all money. The past year has been very challenging, I think, for all industries, the, the roofing industry came through a different mindset because we thought it was going to slow down and actually was busier than ever. There was a lot of storms, a lot of wind damage, a lot of, uh, hur uh, well, a little bit of uh, hurricane, but especially hell damage. But what we've been able to do, and we got really lucky, is when COVID hit, we thought it was going to be, everybody is panicking because we don't know where it's going, but it was a perfect opportunity for us to start hiring people because the unemployment rate went really high. And that was a perfect opportunity for us to start uh, attracting people in our industry. The service industry was struggling a lot and we took advantage of this we hire a lot of people we start training we start uh, a school and we start uh, hiring more and have recruiters so we can really pick the best talent uh, to join our company so it was a good opportunity through an, a challenge to adapt and to make the most out of a year that should have been negative it was very positive monarch roofing to the Val the mayor